Hello friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I am back with a new recipe, so let's check it out. The name of the recipe is Echor Kosha. I request you all to watch the video till the end for the recipe. The ingredients that are required to prepare this mouth-watering recipe are So the main ingredient for the recipe is raw jackfruit which is usually found during the starting of the summer days. So here I have taken a medium sized jackfruit uh, which I have parboiled or boiled with turmeric powder and some salt. And we need chopped tomato. Here I have taken a medium sized tomato, a medium sized chopped onion, 2 to 3 tablespoons of yogurt, 3 to 4 tablespoons of onion paste. Here I have taken 2 medium sized potatoes and cut it into cubes, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 1 bay leaf, 3 green chilies, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, whole spices as you can see cardamom, cinnamon and cloves, 2 dry red chilies, garam masala powder, salt, sugar, red chili powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder and so these are the ingredients that are required to prepare echor kosha. So let us begin. First of all heat some mustard oil in a pan. Now as the oil starts smoking, I am going to fry the potatoes into it. spices or the garam masala and the cumin seeds. Now I will fry the chopped onion. onion has changed its color, I am going to add the onion paste into it. Mix it nicely. Saute for some time and then now it's time to add the chopped tomatoes into it. I will add salt according to this and some sugar. Now give a good mix. Lower the flame of the gas and then I am going to add the now as it starts releasing oil, I will add some water into it and then I am going to add 
add the yogurt into it. Remember, while adding the curd or the yogurt, the flame of the gas should be low as it might cause curdling of the yogurt. Now it's time to add the spices. First of all, I will add the red chili powder, then the turmeric powder, coriander powder, and cumin powder. Now mix it. Now as you can see it has released the oil. Now it's time to add the potatoes. And the boiled jackfruit into it. Increase the flame of the gas and then mix all the ingredients. Mix all the ingredients for 5 minutes so that all the spices get mixed with the jackfruit and the potatoes. Now it's time to add water into it. Now as it comes to boil, cover and cook it for 20 to 25 minutes in low flame. So friends, I am back after 25 minutes. Just see, the water has reduced. Now finally I am going to add garam masala powder into it. Give a quick, quick mix. Now I will turn off the gas and cover it with a lid and keep it for 5 minutes and then we can serve it. So friends, here comes our today's dish, Echon Kosha or raw jackfruit curry. Just look at it, isn't it looking so yummy? Please do try it at home, I'm sure you're going to like it. Thank you for watching my video and please please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.